What's up, everybody? Pumpkin here. Um, I was kind of hoping to do a patch notes reveal today. Not reveal, but a review. But uh, CDPR delayed it, which is kind of unfortunate. So it's getting delayed till tomorrow uh, based off the tweets that both Slamma and Burza put out today. Uh, apparently, it's going to be really exciting. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, perhaps they... Brizza also kind of mentioned that vampires would be playable. Um, granted, vampires are technically playable right now. You can put them in your deck and you can play them, but they're pretty bad. Uh, so maybe that indicates that Monsters is getting some kind of rework, like Northern Realms, maybe. Uh, so maybe that's happening tomorrow. Maybe Mobile's getting released tomorrow. Um, we don't we don't really know other than that. We should be excited, so I guess we're excited. Um in the meantime, I decided to play some Syndicate uh, on stream today. Uh, I haven't played any Syndicate this entire month because Syndicate's just not, eh, it's just really degenerate. Bounty is a pain in the butt, and then Dijkstra is very overtuned. So I decided to play a Gord Shoop deck. Uh, so if you watched my last video, uh, I played a Francesca deck with Shoop, uh, and the idea was you play lots of specials, and then you get a really nice Gord at the end. Uh, this is basically the same thing, except instead of Francesca, you have uh, Cleaver. Cleaver doesn't allow you to play an additional um, special, but it does allow you to play a special, which means you can play Shoop out of deck, Muzzle out of deck, Justice out of deck, uh, Marching Orders out of deck, right? Um, I'll go through the list really quickly. Uh, I, I don't want to say this is like a s tier one deck. It's a fun deck. Uh, if you're looking to play a Syndicate deck that's not based around Bounty... Oh, the other requirement for this deck was no Degenerate card, so no Bounty. Uh, I... I Force myself to not put Bounty in the deck. Um, my guess is the deck would probably be better with Bounty, but I didn't want to put Bounty in, so no Bounty. Uh, Cleaver, play any card from your, or any special from your deck. Shoop, obviously, is very important in Shoop. Muzzle, Muzzle's okay in this meta. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. It, it's just an okay card. It's nice with your leader. It's an extra, it's a pretty large tempo swing uh, if you do use this in a round that's not round three. Justice, obviously, very good with... Well, I mean, we can say muzzle, uh, muscle, like in Scoia'tael, but it's also quite good with the bare knuckle brawlers, simply because, well, uh, you play lots of crime cards because this is a heavy crime deck because you want to play as many crime cards for Gord. So, uh, typically, I play bare knuckle brawler in round one uh, with justice. Uh, Morales is just really good removal. Every now and then you use it for tall removal against Nilfgaard because of Hyperthin and like Zarthusius. Marching Orders, your two targets are Furco and um, Gord. So the idea is if you draw Gord in your opening hand uh, and you have Marching Orders and Furco, you should probably mulligan the Furco away just so you can mulligan it um, or so that you can Marching Orders it. Uh, if you do draw Furco in your opening hand, I typically always mulligan Marching Orders and Gord just because the odds of you not drawing either of them by round three is very, very low, uh, and you never want to play them in round one. So do keep that in mind. If you do draw Furco in round one, make sure to mulligan uh, Marching Orders and Herald. This also applies to the Francesca deck. If you draw Fav in your opening hand, you don't want Marching Orders or Gord. Uh, marching Orders talked about. I guess I kind of skipped over this. Uh, Gwant, Grand Inquisitor uh, Helvid. It's not an amazing card, but it's okay. Um, a lot of decks punish tall. Um, yeah, if you go tall. So this kind of goes wide, which is kind of nice. There's not very many last rates against Northern Realms. You should be careful about Sabrina. Uh, but it's just a way to spend your fee, which I think is fine. If you don't like the card, you can play anything else. If you don't like it, you can play Regis if you want. Not really a big deal. Uh, if you want the more uh, more removal. Uh, Ewald. We don't play the other Boar City Brother. The idea of this is it's another coin spender. And yeah, that's it. It's just a way to spend coins. Uh, and removal is good. Uh, Kalkstein. This card's all right. Uh, not, nothing fancy. It's really good against Syndicate. It's pretty bad against anything that's not Syndicate. Uh, I guess it's okay against Kira if you pop off the Vitality off of Kira. Um, you could replace it, but I, I think it's okay. Worst case for an area, it's a 7 for 7 and it's proactive. So eh, whatever. Gord, obviously, is going to be included in this deck. Freak Show. So this is a card you don't see very often. I actually think it's quite good, uh, simply because a lot of decks are playing Portal right now. So if you lose Coin Flip, you have Tactical Advantage. What you can do is you can Tactical Advantage your Freak Show. Now, your Freak Show is now at 10 strength, so you can ping it down to 1. So that's 9 damage. So if your opponent plays a Portal and pulls out two 4s, like two Fire Scorpions or a Nausicaa and a Fire Scorpion, 
You can slam Freak Show down, tactical advantage it, and wipe both engines off the board. That's really, really good. Now, if you don't lose coin flip, you don't have tactical advantage, so you can't do that. But then again, you won coin flip, so you're happy. So that's not a big deal, right? So uh, I actually think this card's quite good. Uh, not to mention it can kill immune units like Werewolf and Monsters or Milva and Squiatal. Um, and it's another point spender, which is never bad. So yeah, I, I think it's fine. It has uh, some pretty decent cases where it's really, really good. Uh, Congregation, it's just an okay card, six for six. Uh, make sure to play this at the beginning of a round. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, kind of a meme card. If you don't want to play it, don't play it. It's just a meme. It's fun to play on stream. You roll a one and my chat laughs. Yeah. You can replace it if you'd like. Thunder is removal. Eavesdrop is a fantastic card. Dip is more removal. Uh, Shakedown, it's not great, but you can boost an engine. It's still a six for five. It's not. It's just not bad. Uh, and because it is a uh, shoop deck, you do need to play singleton, so you can't really afford to be playing like multiple eavesdrops or dips. Uh, muscle works well with justice. Tax collector. I mean, the rest of these cards are basically just cards that you just want to play because you kind of have to because it's a shoop deck. Um, yeah, I'd say this card's actually pretty decent. This is better than I thought. Um, yeah, it's not great. You're you're doing three damage um, for four p. But it is removal and it's flexible removal. You can typically navigate how much damage you want to do with it. And it's pretty decent. Um, something I'll do if I'm playing against like Northern Realms or Nilfgaard and I'm expecting a four point engine. I'll turn one tax collector and I'll get one coin. And then that way, if they play a four point engine, I can just uh, play bloody good fun and kill it, which is quite good. So yeah, um, as far as cards that are not in this deck, we don't run Flying Redanian just because it's too hard to get out. Uh, I can't consistently pull it out in round one. It just, just doesn't happen. Um, I would need to be playing Siggy, and I don't really want to play Siggy. But I guess you could if you'd like to. Philippa is another really good card that you typically see in most Syndicate decks. We don't play it in this deck simply because I don't get enough coins to make this card worth it. Um, in round one, you typically want to steal like a 7+. plus. I don't get seven coins very easily in round one unless I'm playing something like uh, G Grand Inquisitor. Otherwise, it just doesn't usually happen. So Philippa doesn't really make too much sense. I, I think for Philippa and for Flying Redanian, you need to be playing Siggy. Otherwise, I don't think they're worth it. Uh, or you need to be playing a leader that can get a lot of coins at once, like uh, Wholesome Junior or Gudrun. Um, so yeah, basic gameplay is similar to really any shoop deck. Try to win round one, bleed round two. Uh, round three, you have a really strong round three uh, because you have a lot of high uh, value plays like muzzle, shoop, cleaver, and of course, uh, gourd. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the list and the gameplay and I'll see you guys on the next one. Appeals can be filed within seven years. I don't know if we can beat this stack, but we'll find out. Definitely gonna be hard.
The simplest methods yield the best results. I've no mercy for your kind. Deals, deals. Novigrad's built for deals. Mm. Ah. Listen, I just work here. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Well, now we're a ship deck. Except <laughs> sometimes they're quite fresh. We have shoot for artifact removal. It'll have to do. Where's your poison package? We're playing shoop, so we can't do poison. Are there patch notes? Patch notes will be tomorrow, along with a video. Oh shit, Gwent looks different. Yeah, a little different. Is this yesterday's Franny deck with Cleaver? Basically, yeah. It's pretty close. That's kind of what the idea stemmed from. Right, you have your Gorge Shoop finisher. Your leader is like a muzzle. Yeah, we need this to knock off Bounty. I don't want Jackal. So my leader is going to be... Mo into Furco into one of these. Sure. We always open this, I think. Yeah. The fire cannot burn without the proper fuel. Uh, oh. You're telling me cards don't consist of four pixels? Yeah, now we have six pixels. Pog Champ. Okay. So we have MO leader into damage or swindle. Most likely dip for executioner. He's bluffing. Well, I feel like I want to wait for another to come down before playing this. We're going to play this and not use any pings. Because if he puts another bounty, I need to use two ticks of this. Which means I need two coins in my bank. High time the north was cleansed. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. The answers of Optima Nature are a drop of mercury solution. All right. It's pretty good. Actually, I think we play eavesdrop so that we can get the ship out of our graveyard. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, 200 IQ. Wow, so smart. We've all a bit dirt me the boot staying on a conscience. Okay. A 
Another cyberpunk poster? I don't- what do you mean? Where? Do you think we missed this? Top right? That's been there for like two weeks. You just haven't looked. Been there the whole time. Or you haven't been there? Yeah, sure, that one too. So we play this, we MO into Furco. Into eavesdrop. We draw something and we stick it on the bottom. You're safe to be candid under my roof. And we play this. And we get a nine, and we get our boat out, our boaty boy, Pog Champ, boat boy. Hello. We don't play this card. We yoinked it from him. Not even premium. What a pleb. The job's a job. Is dev stream today? There'll be a dev video tomorrow. Not a dev video, but whatever. There'll be a video tomorrow. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. We have to keep it at seven, so I have a morales. Anyone can afford. Only questions at what price. What's the excuse of Inquisitor in the stack? It's a spender. Does he not have... Oh, he's not playing combo, I guess. The church welcomes all. All are free to convert. Okay. Wait, if this was your plan all along, why did you ping it down to one? I think we just hit this three times. Because this is worth four, but I'm blowing six coins, which means I'm losing two points. I mean... Did we kill this? Bad if he has Renew. I don't think it matters. But I want to kill a spender. Because he can't use his spender. Okay, he doesn't have renew. Oh shit! Mirror! You should change title to Gorb Gang. I wonder if it's a mirror. I wonder if he net decked. It's a good enough deck that I wouldn't be too surprised. I've been checking the stats and this is literally the first Cleaver match in all of Gwen history. Honestly, <laughs> probably true. Cleanly, you squirt 
This deck looks familiar. We'll be able to figure it out in like a card or two. Okay, same amount on leader. Okay, yeah, it's a net deck. Cause there's no, I mean, okay. It might not be a net deck, but it's definitely a shoop deck. It could just, like he could just make his own shoop deck. The way we know is if we see the card out would be this or this. Either of these two, either of these three cards kind of gives away. Because no normal person would ever put the, any of these three cards in their shoop deck. So either of these three cards is the giveaway. Then we'll know it's card for card. This is where you slam wheel of fortune and try to hit the four. Okay, still don't know. Why wouldn't you run clown? Most people don't run clown. I'll rephrase that. I've never seen a deck that runs clown after nerf. Does last say matter in the mirror? Nope. Oh. Okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, it, 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 it matters if... Okay, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. We'll push you to play Syndicate. CDPR didn't push out the patch notes today. Also, I've been wanting to play this deck because it's kind of like the Francesca deck we've been playing. It's just Syndicate. Because it has the Gord finisher. Why are you guys question marking? You guys don't like my pass? I think my pass is fine. Last say doesn't matter. It, it could matter. It depends on my opponent. If he thinks about it. No, dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. We lose one coin, but it doesn't matter. I guess I don't really care if he gets a coin. I'm assuming the coin goes before the bleed. He already played this, so he can't boost it. We still don't know if it's a net deck, but it it's pretty close. Is a boost crime? He already played it. Okay, we're looking for an ammo, muzzle, justice, one of the three. Good. 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 
We're gonna lead her for Muzlol. Da. Da. I think we're actually okay. Um, I guess I could throw this away. I already have a spender. I don't think I need to. I think we're good because we have justice. Justice is huge. Let's get this going. So his removal are... He's got one, two, three removals. Why not AP boar? No room. It's either AP boar or Ewald, but Ewald is nice because it's removal. The deck already lacks removal, so it's helpful. Hmm. Yep. He gets to lose two coins, which is not ideal for him, but... Oh, okay. Only lose one. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. He has to 50-50 it. Okay, that's another removal. He has Thunder left. Yeah, so it's definitely a mirror for sure. Or a net deck rather. Okay. Remember, this will be our little secret. What do I need thunder for? I can just look at my deck. Engines are this, this, this. Dead, dead, deads. I don't think I need it for anything. Which, this is better because it's worth six and it's a crime. They so dropped the thunder. Agitate people to play this deck. I mean, we already got one person, so we're already, it's already working a little bit. I don't know. It's okay. Not terrible. It's kind of cute. Fifteen years in the sewers, begging like a beast. No 
most prominent wart. A witch, no doubt about it. He's never gonna play this early. It's the only time we would want Morales because Shoop is only eight, and Morales-ing as Shoop is bad. And you always play uh, Gord final play, so I think we go ahead and use these. And it's a mirror, so he's not gonna give us a Morales target. I think he misplayed. Unless he has another card. Oh, okay. He'll just leave it. His hand is like, yeah, okay. He's playing correctly. He's keeping himself at seven so that he can morales this. This is why last say is kind of important. So this is just like shoop. Yeah. So his hand is morales and maybe Kalkstein. He already played muzzle. Oh, right. Obviously this. So we win. Yeah. There's more L's. It's just plus four on the board. Right. More L's is plus four. He goes to 28. If he doesn't miss on Shoop, he'd be at 32. So it didn't matter. 